Hey, what's going on everybody? It's JP. It is Saturday morning. Just got off of work. I'm going to do a quick video about the uh, ARB awning that we have on the side of our Jeep. It's the ARB 2500. Um, so I'm going to deploy it, show you how I have it mounted on our Jeep, and then show you the two... Um, I guess rooms that we have for the attachments. All right, let's get started. And the rain's coming. So we're gonna try and do this quick. All right, so we have a Gobi rack, and we're using the Gobi mounts for the ARB rack. These are sold by Gobi, so they actually fit perfectly on the rack right there. see the other one right there so the 2500 is the biggest awning so it does take up the whole Jeep but what's nice about it is that it's very big all right so it comes in a nice PVC outer bag that protects your awning nice durable zipper haven't had any problems with that We've actually had the awning for about over a year now and have been using it regularly and have so far no complaints. All right, so I'm gonna take it and set it up all by myself. So that's it, all set up. So, it's aluminum construction, here's the inside. And this is actually important, this little channel here, because that's where your attachment rooms slide into, so we'll be going over that. Uh, your poles, Velcro straps to keep the tent on. Um, these are adjustable poles, so you can obviously add more and less tension. Your leg poles are adjustable, so you can change the height. Here's your guide wire, so on grass. Um, you know, you could stake it in. On sand, you use a, uh, a dead man bag. And then, if it's really not windy, um, this actually kind of stands, stands, stands on its own. So you don't have to really worry. But they do recommend always staking it down. All right, as you can see, the awning was pretty easy to set up. Doesn't take that long. One person can do it. Um, just have to have the, uh, your, the support poles out and ready to go. So that way you can uh, use them to support the, uh, the main piece when you put the legs down. All right, so I'm gonna show you the two rooms that we have. We've had a screen room for over a year that we first got with this, and now we just bought the deluxe um, 2500 room, which has the, the floor, windows and everything. We haven't, we have yet to use that, but we're probably gonna use that in case we camp overnight. So I'll show you both of those. All right, so this is the ARB. 2500 mosquito net room as you can see it's a lot smaller of a bag it's a lot lighter 
This is the 2500 Deluxe Awning Room with the floor. So this is a lot bigger, it's a lot heavier, takes up more space. Uh, I'll show you how we do the screen room first. This is the back of the screen room. This has a um, sewn-in piping that goes in the channel on the top of uh, the, um, the aluminum back plate for the awning room. This is a full zipper, so we usually put this to the back of the Jeep. So this has to be slid in. This is another um, sewn-in piping. This is for the front, and this will eventually zipper onto the, uh, the awning room. All right, so I'm going to do that now. So that's the screen room. So here's the zipper to get in. Um, there are tie down points here, and there's grommeted stake points so you can stake this out however you want. So. here so we put the zipper on the back just so you can have access to the Jeep obviously you could reverse it um, so the uh, the zippered channel that's in the front would obviously come to the back uh, if you wanted to put the screen on the front um, but this worked out well having this setup so as you can see it connects with clips and pretty much the room is completely covered by the shelter. So you actually have, you know, it's a full, full screen. So even the top is screened, so totally protected. The only one downside to this room is that it doesn't have a full floor, um, which is fine. But if you're putting kids in here and you want them to be off the grass and not worry about any ticks or bugs or anything like that, um, you know, this room wouldn't suffice for that. So, that was pretty easy to put up, a couple minutes. And same thing here. And the clips go on very simple, just a little push, and that's it. So, same thing up here. Alright, so that was the ARB 2500 screened-in room. Uh, I'm going to take this down and then I'm going to put up the deluxe um, 2500 room and uh, see how big that thing is. It's the first time opening it. Alright, here we go. <music> Take out the uh, 2500 Deluxe Room. the same design the channel with the uh, zipper for the front and then you got the channels here on the back 
This has the, um, there's a large room for accessing your vehicle, so I'll show you that once it's up. Uh, ARB also included uh, what looks like a big, long uh, pouch holder, uh, gear holder. So I guess that goes inside, which is pretty nice. And then lots of stakes and guide wires. All right, so let's uh, let's set up the tent. So this thing is feels like great material. Um, but this is the side. It's got two two basically uh, windows. And here's the roll-up points up here and here, and then it's got a main zipper down here that fully opens the whole room. And there's the floor. Uh, I didn't stake it down. I'm not going to stake it down right now just because um, it rained all last night and it's about to start raining again. So I'm just trying to um, show this bad boy off. So that's pretty cool. So you can access the whole room, open up this whole thing, or you can keep it, <coughs> keep it closed and then just open up one side panel to get some breeze. The other side obviously does the exact same thing. So I'm going to look at the back access panel right now. Alright, so here is the back access panel. It's basically the whole size of the Jeep. You can see there, so. No problem opening uh, the passenger door, the backseat door. There you go. And this thing zips all the way down. So you could have this whole thing open. That's the room. Tie, interior tie straps. Got a, there's the interior hook and hook for the the um, included pouch as well. There's hooks everywhere around this thing. And here's actually a little pass through, so I'm guessing you can bring power in there. If you want to, uh, so you got hooks there, 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 there. Oh, no hook in the front. So you got in the front, you got one, two, then you have a tie up tie up and then another two hooks here and then you have hooks all the way along on this side that's the front it's like a panel it's got tie ups two three four full length zippers so let's see what we can do Alright, so you get another full screened in window and there's full zippered access as well. So you can use this to get in if you wanted to. Um, so, you got more ties all over the place. And this is obviously the ties for this roll up. Um, 
So I guess you could also pull this out and have another little awning out here in front. Um, corner comes grommeted, so you probably, if you get a little pole with a, with a little, like a little fitting right there, you can stake this out for a nice little awning. You got the included wires, and you have a little extra front awning space out here. So that's really cool. And this is full zippered, so you can actually, you know, close it, close yourself in. So, yeah. So we're going to see how easy it is to put the included accessory pouch. Nice and easy, and you get now. It actually goes the full length of the awning room. So look at that. It's pretty cool. All right. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe below. Uh, we'll do some other review videos uh, for stuff that we actually use. I haven't used this uh, deluxe awning room yet, uh, but we're probably going to use it next week for uh, a beach camping trip. Uh, the room was. It's super easy to set up. It takes really, it was about three minutes, comparable with the uh, mosquito room. The great thing is the full floor, because we have two kids, and all the um, screened windows. So we can completely open the thing up, see everything that's going on inside with the kids, and um, just feel confident that the kids are gonna actually stay in there until they learn how to use the zippers. Um, the other thing is the front of the room, that big panel that uh, zips up that could become an awning. Um, the only thing you gotta do is you gotta buy some poles so you can actually make it into a little awning. They do have the ropes and the stakes and everything, um, so I'm gonna have to look into getting some poles um, for next week. So um, we'll probably have a video for our trip next week, so maybe you'll get to see the poles that we'll be using. Um, other than that, that's all I got. It's pretty easy. Material's great. Haven't had any issues with the awning since we've had it for a year. Um, screened mosquito net room that we had. Uh, we used that couple, quite a few times. And it's actually a really good wind blocker. Uh, we used it especially last year. We went camping in June in Montauk and it was super windy. Um, and we put the picnic table under the awning with the screen net room around it and we were completely blocked from the wind forward to testing this out and again if you like the video subscribe share it hit the like button help us grow the channel all right thanks again for watching it is 804 in the morning and I am going to bed I just got off work and I have to go back to work tonight all right have a great day